The school bus. I went to a private Christian school for my first couple years of school, but once I switched to a public school, I got to ride a bus for the first time. And I thought it was going to be really fun, just because oh, I don't have to wear any seatbelts. This is going to be a blast. And it more or less was a lot of fun. The school bus is a completely separate entity from school itself. Everyone is in high spirits because they just got out of school, but at the same time, everyone's pissed off because they're not home yet. So this just creates a cluster of moods bouncing off each other in a tight and closed space. Sometimes people let off steam by messing with the bus driver. Other times people let off steam by hitting the person sitting behind them. Now the school bus can either be a lot of fun or it could be a living hell. It depends on a few key factors. Whether or not you had friends on the bus and whether your bus driver was cool or a dick was definitely a game changer. But then in eighth grade, I had this dumb redneck bus driver. Think of John Voight in the movie Holes, except even more of a dumb redneck. He was this short five foot tall man named Mr. Andy. Mr. Andy was a terrible bus driver. He would take his eyes off the road and turn around to yell at kids. He even got in an accident one day while driving the bus. Thank God I wasn't riding it that day. And he would unexpectedly slam on the brakes all the time. And when that happens, all the kids fly forward and their heads collide with the front of the seat and then everyone just has a headache for the next 30 minutes. It was not fun. The school bus seats are supposed to be padded. I do not think they're padded. If they are padded, it's padded with cement. Mr. Andy's bus was filled to the brim. Almost every seat was sitting three kids to a seat. Those seats are made to sit two people comfortably. If you're one of the unfortunate kids that had to sit on the outside of the seat, when Mr. Andy would turn the bus, put your hand out and support yourself against the seat across from you, or else you'd fly off your seat and into the aisle. We also had assigned seating. And me and Jonathan, yeah, same guy that I tried to stab, had to sit with this fat, obnoxious kid named Sam. We hated Sam. The morning bus route every day we'd pray that Sam wouldn't ride the bus that day. Lo and behold there he was just waddling down the aisle. Oh crap it's Sam. Now Jonathan and I we were just two small kids. We were less than like five feet tall. Sam is this like giant giant guy that took up more than half the seat, and he spread his legs out to make things even worse. We would just make fun of him the whole bus ride. We had a, like a half hour long bus ride, just talking crap about him the whole time. You have to understand, this was not a nice kid. He had a lot of friends, so it's not like we were picking on him. He made fun of us first, so just to get him back, be like, Sam, you're fat and no one likes you. One minute you're laughing it up with your friends, and then the next minute you could be arguing with someone that you hate. And it's this unpredictability that made the school bus a pretty fun time. In case you guys haven't figured it out yet, I'm participating in Vita or Vlog Every Day in April, and I've left about five days open for viewer submissions. So if there's a topic you want me to discuss or a challenge you want me to do, then let me know in the comments. See you tomorrow and stay frosty, my cool kids. Tech, 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 tech.